welcome back guys to a brand new video today we're going to be talking about the best method for farming the is luna and the 1000 yard stair by the time you're watching this video the patch has gone through and now the grasp of avarice is farmable and can be farmed for multiple loot drops and if you're anything like me you're trying to get your hands on a god roll eyes luna and 1000 yard stair and since the eyes luna and 1000 yard stair can be farmed by defeating the final boss in the grasp of avarice I'm going to be showing you a way on how to defeat the final boss in under two minutes. Guys, it's going to take you longer to change characters and relaunch the dungeon than it is to defeat the final boss. So if you're ready to get yourself a God Roll 1K in Eyes Luna, all I ask is if you enjoy the video, then click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on all notifications. But with that, let's get into the video. Step one is fairly easy. You need to launch the Grasp of Avarice and get to the final boss room. Or you can always get your hands on a final boss checkpoint, which if you haven't joined my discord server, there are a lot of guardians in there in the discord with a final boss checkpoint. So links to discord will be down below. Now, once you get yourself a final boss checkpoint, this is where you need to have a standby character. For me, my hunter has the checkpoint and to start this process, I need to load into the encounter. And once my fire team joins on my hunter, that's where I promote someone else to leader and I change into my Titan and join my fire team once again in the final boss room. Now, so far, the best method my fire team and I utilized was going to include one Revenant Hunter for stasis freezing, a Well of Radiance Warlock for maximum DPS and healing, and a Thunder Crash Titan for that Thunder Crash Slam. Keep in mind that any of these can be swapped out but I found this to be an extremely easy method for number one, dealing maximum DPS and number two, staying alive during that DPS phase. Now getting into loadouts, we mainly used our heavy weapon, which we tested several weapons, guys. We tested the sleeper stimulant, we tested the 1000 voices, and we tested the threaded needle, all of which easily one phase the final boss. Keep in mind that the reason we're able to one phase this boss is because of this seasonal artifact mod particle deconstruction which you're gonna need to have on your character this is going to add a bonus damage to all linear and fusion rifles as for my kinetic and special weapons i utilize the multi mac which is a lightweight frame for that bonus mobility just to move around the map much quicker and i use the cartesian coordinate because it melts faces i was easily able to defeat lots of ads and also the fallen who runs around with the scorched cannon all right now that our loadouts are out of the way let's get into how we want to proceed with this encounter once you've switched out your standby character for your main character you want to place a rally flag upon rallying you want to head over as a team to where the main boss enters the room and once you see the yellow bar shank and fallen exit the same room, this is where you want your Revenant Hunter to utilize their stasis super to freeze the shank. Now that the shank is being frozen, it is getting damage from the Revenant super. This is where you and your team will then proceed to melt the shank with your Cartesian coordinate or any other fusion rifle. Now, once the shank is defeated, you need to look for the fallen with the scorch cannon. But at the same time, you should defeat a few of the enemies that are just around the map just so it doesn't get too chaotic. Now, once you defeat the Scorch Cannon Fallen Dude, you need to get your hands on a Scorch Cannon and head over to the center activation point and fire the cannon to activate the Engram drop. Now, while you're holding and charging up that activation point and you're holding onto that Scorch Cannon, move back into the right side of the room and release the trigger. Once you release the trigger, the Engrams will fall and you will have to collect all of the Engrams. But rather than heading to the center crystal and depositing your engrams, you need to fire the Scorch Cannon once again at the right activation point. This will then activate a second engram drop. Collect the remaining engrams and if done correctly, you and your teammates will have a total of 60 engrams. Now don't worry if a few engrams drop. I know a lot of worry warts out there. They drop one or two and they're panicky. It's fine. As long as you have above 55 to 60, you're going to be okay. This method only works if your fire team stays alive. So if you can, try to find proper cover and recover. Maybe run max recovery. Now also, if any of your teammates die and you lose 10 to 20 of these engrams, then you might just want to wipe and start over from the beginning. Now, when heading into the damage phase, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. Once you and your teammates head to the center and start depositing these engrams, this will then activate the damage phase. 
This is where you want your Warlock to activate the Well of Radiance Rift. The main reason you're activating your Rift or your Well of Radiance Rift is to stay alive. It does get extremely chaotic and without a Rift, you might die in the process. Now, okay, okay, before you start going to town with all your heavy weapons and your supers, make sure the damage phase is active. Now, the boss might teleport to the front of the room and it might look like the damage phase is active but sometimes he might need a few seconds before you can start dealing damage. Once you start dealing damage with like your sleeper stimulant or maybe your Cartesian coordinate, once you see damage numbers, this is where your Titan and your Revenant Hunter will use their supers to deal damage to the boss. If you get trigger happy and you activate your Golden Gun or your Thunder Crash Titan, there is a chance you might do immune damage to the boss. And again, ultimately just causing this phase to go on longer. So you want to time it properly. Once you see damage numbers, it is now time to activate your supers for the boss. Then just ultimately finish the final boss with your heavy weapons. You should be able to one phase this encounter and collect your loot. Once you see the loot has been acquired, immediately swap to your standby character, fire up the checkpoint and get back into it. Once your teammates join you again, swap back to your main character and farm to your heart's content. There are a few things you should keep in mind. Number one, if you die defeating the shank in the first few seconds of the encounter, that's fine. Your teammates should be able to easily revive you. Number two, if you need to activate your super while picking up engrams, then do it. Don't worry, by picking up engrams, this will charge your super. And since you're doing a double phase of engram picking up, your super will be fully charged by the end of the double engram phase. And number three, if you feel like you and your teammates are dropping engrams and can't activate the damage phase, you can always turn into engrams that are dropped from the yellow bar fallen. I doubt you'll need to do this, but if you do, it's still a great method. Once these engrams drop, have one person deposit them. Just make sure that the person picking up the engrams in the middle is not your Scorch Cannon person. They need to already start the process of dropping engrams. Other than that, this is a rinse and repeat. Farm to your heart's content. By using this method, you can easily melt the boss in about two minutes. Heck, if you guys get this method under two minutes, comment down below, what did you do? Let others know. Other than that, I hope everyone gets their god rules they're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content and don't forget to leave a like on this video. I'm gonna leave a full run of myself, Beagle, and Mr. TP. Those guys were the ones who came up with this method of today's video, so enjoy the run. If you're looking for someone to farm with during this encounter, I will be streaming this weekend, so come on by the stream and we'll get you some god rules. Other than that, I really do appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out. You guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video.